Rut row. We crashed Periscope. Damn, y'all. How'd you do that? <laughs> All right, I'll wait for everyone to join back in, and then we'll continue. I can't believe we crashed Periscope. Wonderful. Okay, so here is me with all of the media. I know. Who knew we were so popular? I didn't know. There I am doing interviews with the media. This was us after the fact as we were breaking down all of our angel wings. There's everybody. Getting ready to, getting ready to call it a day. And that is the end of that scrapbook. Can I see how you put it on your underwear? Hold on, yes. Okay, so there you go. Hold on, let me fix this here. Romy wants to say hi to everybody. Hi! She says hi in my ear as loud as she can. Here, come here, Romy. I'll show you the picture you wanted to see. Oh, wait, hold on. Just don't sit out in that. Oh, wait, I found more. <laughs> Here's, I'm showing, trying to show Romy something. Hang on, I'll show you the rest. Um, there's that picture for Romy. <laughs> All right, hold on. So I found more stuff, so hang on. Let me grab this again. Do, 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 do. Um, so here's some stuff uh, with us when I went to the GLAAD Awards. Remember how Derek said that the first time he ever saw me was at the GLAAD Awards? There I am, right there. This was also a protest that happened at Penn State in conjunction with the Angel Action. They were so inspired after um, Jim and I went and spoke at their university there that um, they led their own angel protest and they had t-shirts made up, which I always really, really loved. All right, I think that's it. Hold on, let me see if there's any more stuff that I missed. Oh yeah, there's some pictures from the GLAAD Award. That was that night I met, met that bitch, Melissa Etheridge. Don't ask me, I didn't like her. There's me with Will from Will and Grace. Whoopi. Oh look, there's Kathy Renna, very well-known gay activist dressed up as an angel. How about that? Yes, you can have some ice cream. Why are you asking me why? See what you guys get exposed to when you join me in my home. You get to see me mothering and trying to show you guys stuff. <laughs> Isn't it fun? Okay. So um, that's a little bit of history on the life of Romaine Patterson. Stuff you may or may not have known. Uh, now I have shared it with you. Wow, you're kind of a big deal. Who to thunk? Can we all have ice cream? If you want, no one's stopping you. I'm not stopping you. I mean, sure, enjoy some ice cream. Uh, thank you for sharing. I am happy to share. I think it's um, it's important to share these types of things. I wish I got to share more of it with you guys uh, when we were doing Derek and Romaine, but again, it really wasn't Derek and Romaine kind of content, but um, it's a big part of my life. And it's not a part I you know spend a lot of time thinking about these days, but uh, it is definitely an important part of my life and something that um, I think about often. So, does anyone have any questions? I'll answer some questions before I call it a night. Killing, killed me not wearing waterproof mascara. Oh, don't be crying. Now, come on. Uh, please put this on YouTube. It was great. I promise, If as long as my fucking phone actually captured it, uh, I will... I will put it on YouTube. If it didn't, I'll find a way to fucking capture it. I don't know. Uh, I'm a mess. Um, need Jersey must-dos for vacation. What do you got? Ugh, nothing. Um, I mean, I really like going down the shore. I like Asbury Park if you're going to go someplace. That's a cool place for gay peeps. Um, Jersey. Uh, that's hard. I don't know. I don't spend a lot of time doing touristy shit in Jersey. Sorry. My bad. Um, has anyone heard from the Fred Phelps compound since the SCOTUS ruling? Uh, I don't, you know, I don't know. I feel like I haven't seen it. I mean, now that Fred Phelps is dead, it's, they're not as, they're not as vocal as they used to be. We're staying in Ocean City. Well, then you're not too far away, Ryan. Go, go see Asbury Park. There's this place there called, um... Hot glass, something like that. I can't remember. That where they make this really cool glass shit that's really awesome. Uh, what happened to that girlfriend of the killer? The girlfriends ended up getting, I think, either a year or parole. I can't remember. They didn't get, they didn't, because they, they eventually cut a deal. So they, um, they didn't get nearly, in nearly as much trouble. Really, they weren't, they didn't have anything to do with the hot sand. Thank you, Stephen. Uh, they didn't have anything to do with the crime itself. They had more to do with trying to cover up uh, the crime. Um, so yeah, that's, that's why they didn't, they didn't get prosecuted nearly as bad. 
Melissa says, thank you for sharing. You're welcome. I'm glad that I could share this stuff with you. It's kind of nice. I haven't shared some of this stuff in a very long time. Why don't you like Melissa Etheridge? I'll tell you why. She was a bitch. You know, I don't like to talk bad about people very often, but sometimes people are not very nice. And she was one of those people that was not very nice. And when I met her, she was a very rude individual. And I have never forgotten it because I've learned a valuable lesson from it that you shouldn't be an asshole to the little people because the little people might grow up to be big people someday. And then they're going to call you a bitch on the radio or to their fans. Because if you act like a bitch, that's what they're going to call you. Yeah. So I try not to ever act like a bitch. I really try hard. <laughs> Do you keep in contact with Matthew's parents? I do uh, when I can. You know, they're very busy people. They live on the other side of the country, so it's a little bit harder. Uh, but I certainly have always tried to have a good relationship with uh, Dennis and Judy. And uh, I think very, very highly of them. So, yes. The little people will be your boss someday. Hell yeah, they will. She was not a nice lady to me. Maybe she was having a bad day. I don't know, but she was a bitch. Um, you are just a real sweetheart. Who, me? No. Uh, and Romania is a big deal, so don't be a see you next Tuesday. That's right, Ryan. Don't be that. <laughs> Anywho. All right, so, uh, I think I'm going to call it a night. We've been doing this for a while now. Um, and I promised my friends I would go play Gears of War 3 with them in about uh, 10 minutes. So <laughs> I got to go get ready. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll try to put up links on Facebook. And um, yeah. And I hope, and if you guys liked it, when I post links, you can share it uh, with your friends so we get lots of views. I'm sure you guys gave me lots of hearts. I wasn't paying too much attention as I was trying to tell you all this stuff. Um, what is your email to contact you? Romaine Patterson at Gmail. All one word. Romaine Patterson at Gmail is the email address. Um, oh, shit. I forgot. Uh, tomorrow in my Periscope, I'm going to read you some of the cards and postcards from In My Box. <laughs> By that, I mean my post office box because I have been checking it and things are starting to arrive. So I will be sharing some of the sweet things that some of you guys have had to say over the last few days. And I hope you guys enjoy it. In the meantime, kisses to the bitches. I love you all. Yes, new segment in Romaine's box. <laughs> That's so inappropriate. Um, and I will talk to you guys all tomorrow, all right? Enjoy your night. Kisses to the bitches. Bye, bitches. Let me see if I can turn this off. Ah!